Oh. That's not what I expected. Okay, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, in the last episode, we went to Tor... No, we... No, we didn't. Clemens Cave. We went into Clemens Cave. Save Cecilia from... Mo monsters? Gi giants? She, she ran away from some monsters, presumably the giants. And, you know, we saved her. We, we, she is pure and innocent and too good for this world. Also, we've started making money and getting a huge amount of wood, so... We're doing pretty well for ourselves. I wasn't hoping it was going to be raining today, because that means Leo's closed, and I was planning on having him actually upgrade my tool today. Oh, well, that's fine. It's fine. Uh, if you want to, you can upgrade your watering can if you're following along, and then you'll be ahead of me. Otherwise, you know, you do you, I'll do me. It's fine. Chop some wood. I should probably clear all this out, but I don't know. It's kind of takes a while to do that, and I have so much going every day after all. Oh, the strawberries are ready once again. Perfect timing. I'll grab those a little bit later today once I need the RP. For now, the cucumbers are also done. Okay, that's fantastic, because not only is that, you know, the cucumbers themselves, but that's also a bunch of RP. So I thought I planted cabbage, but I guess I didn't. Either that, or cabbage is actually a fall vegetable, and I'm being dumb? I don't remember. I must have forgotten to have planted it. I must not bought in it and just went, eh, strawberries are more important right now. Which means I think a few videos ago I lied to you guys? Whoops, sorry. Just chopping these down with my sword, you know, exactly what swords are actually meant for. I feel like Leo would be upset if he saw me using my sword like this. You found Cecilia, that's good news. Rosetta, my only child, is such a tomboy. She's always getting into trouble. Oh, Thanks. Ragoon, I don't know how I can possibly express my gratitude. Blah, blah, blah. Oh god, he's broken too. Ragoon, thank you for saving me. Yeah, this conversation once again. Oh god, everyone's breaking. Oh yeah, Numa's on the second floor. He's such a pain. He never works when the weather is bad. I'm relieved that Cecilia's okay. So, like she mentioned, like I mentioned once before when it was raining, Newman does not open his shop on rainy days. He just, I guess, can't work on them? Question mark? Morning. <laughs> Everyone says I drink too much and they're right. <laughs> I never feel like doing any work when the weather takes a turn for the worse. <laughs> Oh, Sharon's already up to two friendship and one love. Sharon was the first person to get any love points with us. That's actually surprising to me. Because normally Sharon's the hardest person for me, but I guess she really does like those uh, crystals. Whenever you feel like you've lost your way, please come to the church. It's fine to work the fields, but what about working as a seaman? <laughs> Sailor. Fisherman. Anything else other than that word. And as I mentioned previously, Leo refuses to work on rainy days. I see you there. Been up to much recently? My master was a dwarf, so I picked up a little of his speak and I. We have speak and I. Whatever. <laughs> You're back. You must be bored if you came to visit this old man. You found Cecilia, did you? I'm so happy she wasn't injured. Kids aren't disappointed. They head off alone to dangerous places. But I'm so happy they were no problems. I really am. I like this place. It's the best place in Cardia. Your bedroom? Womp. <laughs> I, I know she means the inn, but... Your bedroom? Cecilia was in the cave, eh? I'm glad you found her safe. We're going to you have the makings of a hero. Anyway, I just wanted to say that all the girls here are so pretty. It must be some kind of miracle. Laura, the nurse that loves everyone. That everyone loves. That's what I meant. Felicity, the mayor's daughter, who's a little sick right now. Melody, the girl that runs the bathhouse in the witch's outfit. She's got some sort of charm. Tabitha, the girl who's a 
who has a demeanor not from this world. Bianca, she's selfish, but hot. May, she looks young, but is older than you'd think. She makes the most of that. Mist, she works earnestly, but this sometimes slips. Sharon, a surprise package who lives in the ruins. She's tough to approach, but is still very pretty. Tori, the way she talks is a little bit gloomy, but men who like a gentle soul can't resist her. And finally, Rosetta, a girl with a wicked tongue who comes to collect your shipping boxes. Well, that's it. They're all so cute it amazes me. I never know which one I'd choose. Right. Laura and Felicity are popular, but I'd rather go for someone else. That is the duty of a poet. Oh. Raguna, do you write poetry? No, I've never written a poem. That's no good. Poetry enriches your life. But I don't have that kind of talent. No, 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 Raguna, you don't need talent to write poetry. Poetry is what's inside you. Isn't that called talent? I don't know. I guess it could be. I traveled the world and came to this town. I feel like I gotta spread the message of love. You know, sometimes I feel like Luke is just one of the programmers for this game who just likes to give his commentary on the girls. Which is kind of weird, but eh, I feel like they had fun with him. Skill up. Wow, oh, that's cool. Water these cucumbers before I pick them. As well as these strawberries. Skill up. That's actually really fantastic. Thanks! I like the medicinal herb. Alright. Clemens Cave. I'm not too familiar with a lot of the enemies' names in these caves. Troll. HP 93, attack 45, defense 8. He can critically hit you, his attacks are earth-based, and he can topple you. They're slow, so they're fairly easy to dodge. Should you beat them, they can drop shoulder pieces and protein. Should you tame them, they can harvest your crops for you. So, that'll all be put- oh, well, well, okay. Killer Ant, HP 84, attack 33, defense 8. They can critically hit you, they can seal your skills, and they can absorb health when they damage you. These enemies can appear in swarms and do not drop anything. Should you tame one, they can harvest your crops for you. That'll all be post-editing. Oh, come on, don't seal me. Having a bad time with these ones, but I'm doing it. This is Ignis, HP 88, attack 40, defense 3. They can attack with a fireball, all of their skills are fire-based. And should they attack with Inferno, they'll create a giant explosion around themselves. They can drop fire crystals, flare elements, and flame sabers. Should you tame one, they act as a combatant. Oh, come on. Fire... He just didn't fire, I thought he was about to do his AoE attack. Whatever I'm trying to say, while stuttering. Hammer Troll, HP 91, attack 42, defense 6. They have a power attack, and all their attacks are wind-based. Just like the regular troll, they're slow, but these ones have a bit better reach. On the bright side, their stats are a little bit lower. Should you beat them, they can drop hammer pieces and battle hammers. Should you tame them, they act as combatant for you. Gather up all the types of grasses. Um, if you want Sharon to love you, you can go for all of the different, uh, the different crystals and she'll fall in love with you in no time. Or if you are going to be doing cooking anyway, you might as well grind up your level in this and start making relaxed tea leaves. It requires level 30 to get a 90% chance of making them or something like that. But once you actually do it, it's just, it's her loved gift. So I would recommend doing it. If nothing else, then just to make your waifu happy. Okay, so you need your watering can in here. Uh, sword first, right? Okay, well I just took the seal, so it's fine. So that's very unfortunate because it wastes one of these, but, you know, not all I can do about it.
These are beetles. HP 83, attack 36, defense 13. They have a power attack and can topple you. They're a tanky creature with a lot of defense, so just be careful about not letting them get hidden. They can drop earth crystals, insect skin, and vital gummies. Should you tame them, they can act as a combatant for you. Right. One of the Hercules beetles, or whatever they're called. Wow, lots of good stuff in here. Problem is that I don't actually need indigo grass, and I think half of the stuff is indigo grass. I need purple grass and blue grass, so I think this one's blue, which is good. I just kind of get confused between purple, indigo, and blue. I think this is purple, the one I picked up previously was blue, and then the other one that kind of looks like a mix of the two is indigo. Womp. Which makes sense, considering, you know, that's what indigo is. It's the stage between the two. Womp. Head down here to take on this giant. Ah, I'm so terrifying, and as if I haven't been through this like three times now? Something like that? These are Titans HP 100, attack 53, defense 9. They can critically hit you. All of their attacks are earth based, and they can topple you. They're essentially just more powerful versions of the trolls, so, same strategy, just dodge their hits. Should you beat them, they can drop giant claws, proteins, and field gloves. Should you tame them, they'll harvest crops for you. Right. Hornet Queen. HP 83, attack 37, defense 9. They can critically hit you, and they can poison you. They do not drop anything when killed, appear in swarms, have ranged attacks, and assets should be dealt with quickly and carefully. Should you tame them, they act as the livestock, producing honey for you. Level up. That's actually fantastic timing. Because I was worried that I might have to use a potion or something to get through this dungeon. So this area, you can either buy a neutralizer from the doctor, or, you know, just have some of these and go through it and take the hit. It's fine. It's actually not worth the money to do two neutralizer agents right there. It's not like they stay forever or anything, so. Another Ignis. I thought that angle was fine. Oh! We got a flare element! Okay, uh, we can make these later on, so I won't even worry about having to ship this one. I instead will eat it, because it's very important. Increases the power of fire magic by one. I believe it's both attack and defense. I am correct. That is very good. Oh yes, very important. So now, you know, since we're dealing with so many fire enemies in here, that's fantastic. It'll make it that much easier to get through here. Did I forget an entire path? Or am I just thinking of the next dungeon? Womp. I think I'm thinking of the next dungeon. Womp. Womp. go. It's getting close, though. Hmm. 
I'm nowhere near leveling up. And I missed one somewhere. Hopefully there's just a southern path that I forgot. But I figure, you know, let's finally make use of one of these. Just so I don't have to hear the beeping sound. <laughs> to be honest, I hate that. Nope, here it was. I knew I was missing a path somewhere up here. Huh? The door! Minotaur. HP 96, attack 49, defense 7. They can critically hit you, their attacks are fire-based, and they have a power attack. They can drop earth crystals and battle axes. They're slow, but have the range of a hammer troll, so be careful. Should you tame one, they can act as a combatant for you. Yep, uh, Minotaur, I believe this is. They're a faster giant, essentially. Womp. A little bit easier to kill, but they're more likely to hit you. Alright, I'm hoping that's the last enemy so we can open up the door. Because if that is, we may just take on the boss tomorrow. Or, heck, we might even have time to do it tonight. That is it. Uh, yeah, let's take it on tonight. Let's try this. We have enough RP just sitting around and all those runes there. You know, why not? As a reminder, if you uh, did spend some money on the cure spell, it is a full heal, so pick up all the RP, take some damage during the boss battle. With one spell, you're back at full. Just make sure we're, you know, topped off. Alright, let's do this. We roll Jenkins. I like how I'm like, I'm not gonna promise we're gonna do this in the next episode, but I mean, there's a good chance. Proceeds to do everything in the cave the next day. Seriously, this game's just... The fact that I can actually go back and recharge between killing all these things and then doing the boss monster... It's not exactly challenging then. <laughs> If I'm not careful, I'm gonna run out of water soon. Um, I don't think I have a lot of uses left. I'm gonna risk it and just try to go up here. Because I should have filled up my water, like, you know, not an idiot. There aren't enough places in here to... Oh no, I didn't even need the water. Cool. There we go. Full health. Let's do this. Is this a flower? I never expected to find a flower growing here. It's amazing it doesn't shrivel up from the heat. La 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 la. Wow, that's such a big flower. This might be a nice spot for hot springs. I doubt anyone would want to come to this place. You don't have to be so blunt, Mist. I'm just being honest. That's okay. Say, I wonder what kind of flower this is. And you cursed us. What? The flower's moving! Stand back, you two. I don't like the looks of this. Right. Okay. Reflessia. HP 780. Defense 8. Magic Defense 10. Fire Defense 15, Wind Defense 40, Earth Defense 40, Water Defense 80. They have four attacks they can use depending on which stock they use. The right stock would cast Sword Storm, a wind-based spell that can seal you. The left stock can spit out Horner Queens. The top stock will spit out a breath that will paralyze you upon contact. The bottom stock spits out Kill Radiance. The best way to attack is just to let them spawn the enemies or do their Sword Storm or Paralysis Breath then just attack whenever they go in that dormant state. If you're overpowered like I am, you can just cure off the status ailments and just fight through it. And here we go. I believe it's Refreshia in this game? It's... I think the name's just a play on Reflexia. So... Uh, the Wind Blade will seal you, which sucks. The Ants will seal you, which suck. 
And he has a few other attacks which I believe can poison and paralyze and things like that. Um, come over here, remove that seal, and then heal. If you are willing to spend the money on the uh, seal, on the pair seals, it's really easy to deal with this. Alright, now he starts spawning the hornets. Paralysis with that breath, right? And poison from the hornets. Or not hornets, but whatever the upgrade for the hornet was. And boss down. Um, in just a second I need to cast my... Cure spell, not cure, but uh, medication spell. You were marvelous, Raguna. Were you hurt? No, I'm okay. Oh no, the flower's gone. Now am I supposed to attract customers? I doubt anyone would want to come with flowers like that around. Giant flowers and lava bathhouse. I thought I had a nice ring to it. Hmm. Anyway, uh, monsters that big shouldn't appear in this world. What's going on? I don't know, but I bet someone's behind all this. Right. Besides, someone did pull all this put all those devices inside the caves. Hmm, the only country with technology enough to make devices like that is the Sex Empire. So you th think the Sex are behind this? I'm not sure. Cardia is near the Sex border, but it's still part of the Norad Kingdom. Even the Sex Empire wouldn't dare cross the border without sufficient reason. Besides, a huge empire like that has no reason to invade a little town like ours. So it would seem. I guess we'll just have to wait and see if we can find out more information. Right. Well, I'm gonna head back to town. Please watch yourself, Raguna. I will. I better get going too. You should drop by my bathhouse for a dip sometime. Sadly, we can't do that now. But what I can do is remove those bad status ailments. So, yeah, that's that boss battle. Refreshia, or whatever its name is. Oh, we got a uh, field gloves. Nice. I wasn't expecting to get a drop like that. Alright, dodge. Freaking. Just die already! Uh, right. Do I have any more antidotal herbs? I do. Thank you. Alright, let's just teleport out of here. Go grab some more runes and then start working. I'd say that was a pretty good boss battle, to be honest. Also, before I forget... Alrighty. So, rather than doing what I normally do and just wasting all my RP, I'm actually going to head into the dungeon real quick since I have about two... Uh, hour and a half or so. I'm just going to make a little bit of progress in this cave. I may have already beaten it, but that doesn't mean I've done everything I need to do. I need to get some experience in getting a little bit of mining done, you know? There we go, we'll level up. And a skill up, nice. Oh, and a giant claw, nice. Fantastic, really. We have an hour to kill. So let's, let's use up all of our RP. Nice start. And another skill up. This is a rather good day for us. Multiple drops, skill ups abound, level ups abound. 
We're actually way ahead of where I was planning on being at this point. Not to mention our logs and uh, all of our money at this point. Alright, let's get out of here while we can. We're cutting it very close by waiting until 40. Okay, it takes roughly 10 minutes to run to, home, to the house, so I can safely wait until 40. It's fine. So before we go to bed, I'm not just wasting this now. We make pickles. We can actually start making recipes now that we're starting to get more materials. Pickles are a level 2 skill, we're actually above level 2. So if you notice on the top screen, this is 100% sec success rate. I almost said sex rate. <laughs> wow, that's awful. Alright. <laughs> Oh. My backpack is... Oh. I've got a lot of different level of stuff. And this is an accessory, apparently. Plus two to my dexterity. Plus two to defense. And... Hmm. I'll wear the field gloves, actually. Plus two to dexterity is really awesome. The one defense doesn't help us that much, and... You know. I'll do that. I need to start putting some stuff away. Red, orange, yellow. Green, blue, indigo, and purple. As well as mantidotal and uh, medicinal herbs. I've gotten to the point where my cooking's already level 7, almost a little late, so I don't plan on using my HP pointlessly anymore. I'll just head to bed. I'll see you all in the morning. Okay, as per usual, we start our day with a little bit of farming. We don't care about yellow grass right now, so we're just going to cut that down and collect wood. And we have another set of strawberries here to pick. Ignoring the fact that they're a fantastic gift, they're actually worth a really good amount of money. This is 18G every, I believe, two or three days. So, you know, 600 to 900 G per day just for a little bit of uh, watering. This is fantastic. Wow. Both our bell peppers and our spinach are done. Everything's coming up blue today. Which normally doesn't sound like a very good thing, but for me, oh yeah. Well, we got lucky and another stump spawned here. And another one right up here. Okay, before we head to town, I'm actually going to see if there's any new stumps up here. Or I guess down here as we head downstairs. Skill up. New stump, a bunch of new logs. This is fantastic. And we're done. Our chores for the day are finally complete. So, it is holiday, and many of you may realize that holiday is a special day for me. It's a day I get to see Ivan. 
Hey there. Hey Ivan. Hey Raguna. Let me see what you have. He recommends the shelf and the table set. Shelves. You need a shelf to keep your items in order. A small shelf is 1000G. A large one is 2000. We only have a small house, so we can only do the small shelf for now. Thanks as always. The shelf will soon be delivered to your house. And, while we're here, he recommends a table set. I'd like a table set, but I don't think it would... If you'd like a table set, but it wouldn't be much of use. 500 or 1000. This is a useless item that's purely aesthetic, but I'm getting it because I like the aesthetic. Thanks as always, the table set will be delivered to your house. So if you just want the useful one, spend a thousand. If you want both, spend fifteen hundred. Unless you somehow have the large house at this point in the game, and then, uh, what? Excuse me? That is actually impossible now that I think about it. Because it takes ten days to make the house after you pay, so you would have to have all the materials by the third day? And that just doesn't seem likely. Unless you're cheating. Have fun. Enjoy your... You know... Enjoy your stuff. I don't even know what I'm trying to speak. It, it never works out for me. Okay. So guys, I'm actually gonna cut it here. I know, middle of the day is so surprising. But guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon, we'll be taking advantage of this new shelf we have over here. Between episodes, I'll probably just dump out for the stuff that I don't need, such as, you know, the sickle, and... I won't be using the fishing rod right now, so I'll dump this. I'll get this all sorted out, and then we'll just have a clear inventory, essentially. So guys, I'll see you all next time. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.